Thank you for joining me. What I'd like to do is show you how easy it is to do job preparation on the HP Latex 360 printer using SAI's FlexiPrint HP Latex Edition. What I'd like to do is show you how easy it is to use FlexiPrint with your Latex printer. To add a job, just go to the job menu here and choose Add Job, and you'll see all the jobs that you can use with this particular printer. Just choose one. And what I'd like you to do is just click on this little button right here. It says Open Job Properties. Let me explain why. As soon as you click Add, what that does is it opens up a separate menu called Job Properties. And this lets you manage that job really quickly and easily. No additional windows to open. It's all right in front of you. In fact, what you're looking at on the right-hand side here, this white space, that's actually the width of the particular media that you have in your printer. And if you need to resize your job, you can do that manually. And you notice it's uh, upside down, so let's rotate that. Just go to the little F in the middle and double-click on it. Doesn't get much easier than that, does it? You can resize that job. If you want to make copies, just choose the number of copies you want apply the appropriate space between each one. And by the way, if I move this job too close to the edge, you notice it will restack those jobs automatically. So no fear about printing half a job. And that's really the speed that you're looking for in producing a job. Second thing, let's go to color management real quick. And you notice the tabs up here in the top? If you let your mouse sit on that, it's gonna tell you exactly what that tab does. So let's click on that. And what this is doing, Flexi's actually showing you all of the profiles that it got directly from your printer. They're all right here in front of you. And you know what can happen is if you load a media onto your latex printer, Flexi can actually detect that media and automatically load the appropriate profile for you. It's just that fast. Secondly, let's talk about tiling here real quick. You know what can happen is if you have a really large uh, image or if you have a smaller image like this one and it's a windy day and you need to tile it, you can do all this right from a very easy to use menu. Now I've just added a few tiles on here and they're all equal in size, but you know what can happen? Sometimes those tiles can overlap in a location you don't really want it to. So guess what? I can just click on that little line there and move it in any direction I want. I can actually make tiles that are not equal in size because that's what's needed in real production and that's what FlexiPrint is all about. In fact, if I right click on any of these tiles, I can turn them off. That means that I can print just this tile to start with and then turn on the tiles that I want to print afterwards. That helps me manage the job the way it should be managed in any shop. Finally, when I'm ready to print something, all I have to do is click the send button and it's going to print right to your printer. Every now and then, you have several files that you want to print on the same media with the same settings. And in my case, maybe these top four files here are all going to be printed on the same media with the same settings. Well, if I print them individually, that might be a waste of material. It might be a small print and then there's you know, several feet of material left over. It just wouldn't be the smart thing to do. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually hold my shift key down and select all of those prints right there right click on it and choose nest jobs and watch what happens it places all those jobs automatically under one job title and when I double click on that it shows me how it's going to nest those jobs it's just that quick and that's really what flexi prints about is, is working quick and not wasting material now you're not obligated to keep the nesting that you see on the screen here really what you can do is I could just move this job if I wanted to I could rotate that job and I can actually form my own nesting if I want to. In fact, if I choose a job like this one and just say I want more copies of that, it automatically helps me nest it in the quickest way so I use the least amount of material. That's really a very unique feature and it really is helpful to see it right on the screen. That's nesting. Now there's another very important feature that we want to talk about also. Let's say I have a job down here and I'm going to double click on that job so you can kind of take a look at it. And if you recall, we actually are tiled this. We just, you know, different sections. We're going to print this in a tiled fashion. So I'm getting ready to print this, and suddenly I realize right over here, I forgot to add some artwork or maybe some text or another image or something like that. What do I need to do? Well, instead of starting the whole job over again, I'm going to right click on it 
I'm going to go down to a feature called Edit With, and you're going to actually see a number of programs here. These are programs on your hard drive that actually allow you to open that kind of file format. So in my case, it was a TIFF file, and I happen to have Photoshop. So I'm going to click on that, and guess what? Right from my print menu, I'm going right into Photoshop so I can edit this image. And you can edit, you can add all kinds of things to this. I'm just going to draw something on the screen here. There you go. Let's just do something like that to show you how it's going to work. And when you get ready, when you've, when you've finished editing the file, just go to the File menu and save it. And then File and exit the program. And watch what happens. It takes you right back to your Flexi Print. When I double click on that image, guess what? I'm actually seeing the changes that I just made right over the tile, by the way. So it didn't change the tiling or anything, it just added that particular image or correction that I wanted to that particular file. Now, you know what's amazing about this is it also saves the original file. So you're really just making changes to the file that's in the queue, not the original artwork. That's the way a RIP program should work. The HP Latex 310 and the HP Latex 330 come bundled with FlexiPrint HP Basic, supported by HP. You can also upgrade to the FlexiPrint HP Premium or FlexiSign Pro HP. The HP Latex 360 is available with FlexiPrint HP Premium or FlexiSign Pro HP. To get more information, SAI has created a new website, thinksai.com slash HP Latex, or you can contact your HP Latex reseller.